Hello everyone! Hi, it's PW first. Yes, you were first. <laughs> At least the first chatter. And Zuchiko people arrive. Hello, hello. Welcome back. <laughs> we skipped a week last week for Japanese, but now we should get on track. Get back to um, lesson nine. <laughs> I already have the pages set up. I was like, oh, why am I spending time making a page every every time we do this? I should just make them beforehand. I don't know how many we'll need, but I made like, what, three? Three? If we need three. <laughs> Woo, yeah! <laughs> awesome, awesome. Well, last time we left off on lesson nine, so we'll continue with that lesson sound good sound good let's see i've gotten my colors already i have three of them i have two of them here's the blue all right next one on lesson nine i have this on like my review page and this is the last one of the first page i think i have like three or four pages of isn't the jlpt testing coming up super soon it is it is um actually let me check the date on that it should be in December, right? Oops. JLPT test. 2022. Oh, I dropped my pen. Where did it go? Shoot. December 4th. Wait, that's today. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hold on, I dropped my pen. Oh, here it is. Mm, I found it. I found my pen. I just, I dropped it. Okay. <laughs> super soon uh, it already happened probably for most people so uh, i'm not sure when the results out come out maybe a month later but there will be tests for july so i'm getting ready for those someone was in chat at one point that was like i'm going to take it in july and so i think i mean we'll definitely be done with this by july and then moving on to n4 already I'm hoping for barring locations. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, they closed so many locations. Like, the locations are filling up faster than ever before. So it it's hard. It's hard to get in. And then they close some locations. Yeah. That's why I was like, okay, if I miss it. So, like, I wanted to take N4 in last year in December but like the location closest to me was not close first of all <laughs> and also um it got full right away so i didn't get the chance so now i'm gonna review n5 and n4 and try to take n3 so fingers crossed fingers crossed mm, that gives me a chance to do n4 better though as well let's see Next grammar point. S1. So S1, this is sentence one. And then we're learning kata. S2, sentence two. And this means... Mm, the way to describe it in the book is weird. I, I like to think of it as because of sentence one, sentence two. So this can be something like, let me think. This can be something like, oh, ashita, ashita. So that's tomorrow, ashita, shiken, and this is exam. I'm not sure if we've seen shiken yet, so I'm gonna write down. I know we've seen ashita. It's a good one to know. Ashita shiken ga arim. Arimas. So we learned ga arimas last time. Mm, because it's like tomorrow I have a test. So this is ashita chiken ga arimas. Tomorrow I have a test. And then you add kara. Kara. Mm, what can you not do because you have a test? How about party? 
This is party? 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 I don't know why I said it so weird. This is party? Eh? E Ki Let's do ikimas. There's another way to say this, but I'll, I'll just do ikimas. So this is like go to I'm not going to the party. So because I have an exam, Ashta Shiken ga arimas kara party e ikemas ikemasen. Sorry. It's been a little while. Ikemasen. Let me make this bigger. Ikemasen. Cannot go to the party. Ikemasen. Oh my goodness. My brain is broken. That's katakana. Ikema sen. How do you write, write the right, 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 right. Ikema sen. Ah, there we go. Asta shiken ga arimasu kara party e ikemasen. Cannot go to the party. True, I still want to dip my toe in and take the N5, though I think it'll be fine with N4. But I'm in no rush. I'd rather see what I'm getting myself into. Yeah, that's fair. Take N5 as like a a practice into the process as well. I'm sure it's it's not easy to do the exam with the time limits. Definitely look up the time limits for the exam. It's a good idea. And let's see. What is our next one? Doshite. Doshite. The dough looks kind of weird. Hold on. Doshite. Doshite, this is an interrogative. It means why. Oops. This means why. And it's an interrogative. So like a, a question word. And this. It can be like. This can kind of like come before here. So it can be like. Doshite. Oh. Ikimasen. This is E. Put this one wrong. Doshite ikimasen. Like, why can't you go? And then you could be like, oh, because I have an exam, I can't go. It's like, doshite, why can't? It's like, why? You can use it all by itself. You can just say, uh, if someone's like, oh, mm, hima ja arimasen, I'm not free. So if someone's like, hima ja arimasen, I'm not free, then you can say, doshite, why? I'm a really good tester, but the universe is always ready to humble me. Oh, yes, I think Japanese can humble us all. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> oh, this is no joke with those exams. All right, next one. N, which is a noun. N, ga. So going back and using the ga, we learned that with wakarimas and arimas. N and the other one, I think I hinted at it already. N ga ski des. N ga ski des, which is basically I like N. So ski is to like. And then you just replace this with any noun that you can think of. It can be mm, how about mochi. Mochi is like I feel like it's gotten more popular recently, but it's like the sticky rice thing. Sticky rice dessert. Rice ball dessert. I don't know. I don't like it. <laughs> Maybe I just haven't had one that I like, but I don't like mochi very much. But for this example, we'll say we do like it. Mochi ga suki desu. I like, I like mochi. <laughs> um, you could also say something like, uh, what's an, what's another word? Ongaku ga suki desu. Ongaku. Ongaku is music. 
Ongaku ga suki desu. Even though it says suki, you say it like together, like suki. Oh, why do I keep writing mas? This should be des. Suki des. Suki des. And this is. I'm getting my teacher brain on. I need to not be sloppy with my writing. Usually I'm pretty sloppy when I'm studying, but I don't want it to be sloppy in the videos. <laughs> All right, ongaku is music. Let me write that's music. All right. So I think that one's pretty easy to understand. I feel like they use ski a lot in anime and stuff like that. The next one is similar, similar. N ga, once again, starting the same way. But this is a new vocabulary. Oops. Njozu. N ga jozu desu. Put desu like this. Alasai, hello, welcome, welcome. I hope you're doing well today. We are going through the end of lesson nine right now. So Enga Jozu des is like, I'm skilled at or good at whatever noun it is. I'm skilled at N. So it could be something like, oh, I'm good at um, dancing. It could be, let's say, dance. Dance. This is one way to write dance. Dance. Oh, that's so little. Dance. Ga. Jozu. Jozu. Death. Which would mean I'm skilled at dancing. Or you could say like, oh, ona no hito wa dansu ga jozu desu. You could say like, she's good at dancing. Something like that. It's great. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> I've been doing well as well. Excited to get back into more Japanese. I want to... I want to remember. I want to do good. I want to speak to other Japanese VTubers. I want to do that one day. <laughs> But I have to get through studying first. You posted a cover? What? Oh, I need to check that out. Oh my goodness. I can't believe I missed that. If you posted it on Twitter, I understand why. Because my... My Twitter feed has been just... Completely filled with the shoujo. Since the whole debut thing. Like all of today, it's just been the shoujo, the shoujo. Um, but I'll try to check it out. Do you have a YouTube? Is it on your YouTube? I didn't know you had a YouTube if you do. That was the end of lesson nine. So now we can move on to lesson 10. Yay. There are 25 lessons in this book. That's why I posted where a third of the way through. It was like 8.5 is a third of it. So let's keep going. Let's keep trucking. All right. All right, this is similar. Like, it's a little bit of a review. Plus an addition. Plus an addition. New new phrase to learn. How fun. En ga arimas. We've seen. All right, that's like an object. This is more like to have an object, I believe. Or there is that object. But then the, instead of arimas, you can replace it with imas, which is a living object. Yay! <laughs> so you can explain this kind of as... There is N. Oops, red. There is N. And so the there is kind of like arimas, imas. I'll give some examples, so... If you want to say something like, oh, I have a car, you could say kuduma. Oops, let me write that in red. Kuduma. 
Ga? Arimas. Kuruma ga arimas. So, when you're talking about an inanimate object, like a car, or a bag, or a window, like say a room has a window, then you're going to use arimas. If you're talking about a living object, like say a cat, you can say... So if you're like, if someone asks like, oh, what's in that room? Um, hey, uh, how would you say that? Hey, ni nani ga imasu ka? Like what things are in that? Or you could say nani ga arimasu ka? just being like oh what's in that room then someone could be like oh neko ga imasu there's a cat in the room yay how cute same you can say inu ga imasu maybe you're like oh oh what's in the kennel i don't know what kennel is in japanese i i <laughs> You can speak the of letter later, la letter later. But if it's like, oh, what's in the ken kennel? Is it a cat, a dog? You can be like, inu gaimas. It's a dog. <laughs> so I'll, I'll write a little note. This is for living, and this is for inanimate. Inanimate. Yes, yes. That's, I think that's the simplest way to understand it. Okay. I got a little my head ahead of myself with the example. I'm glad I at least did it right. So what I was kind of alluding to in the last one. In place. So we're in like heya, a room. In place. Ni. En. Ga. And then you can say same same thing. You could say arimas or imas. Arimas or imas. So this means there is a noun. So there is an at a place, in a place, on a place. Um, let's say, in place. Oh, that kind of looks like, it looks like programming code if I don't have the, um, <laughs> if I don't have the parentheses, it kind of looks like, I don't know, maybe like a math problem or something. <laughs> So, the example I was saying earlier, I'll, I'll just write it out. So, you can say, Hey, ya. Hey, ya. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> hey, ya, ni. So, in the room, let's do, let's do inu this time. Let's do dog. Inu. Ga. Oh, that's the wrong color. Inu. Ga. Oh my goodness, stop hitting the blue. Are you serious? Inu gaimas. Heya ni inu gaimas. And this can be said for anything. So if you have like hako, which is box, hako ni inu gaimas. Uh, the dog is in the box. I don't know why the dog would be in the box. It makes more sense for a cat to be there. <laughs> but maybe the dog jumped in the box too. And then for an inanimate object, you could say something like... Let's see. Te... Te beru. Mm, how do you say it? How do you write it? Te teburu. Yeah, that looks right. Teburu, which is table. 
Knee? Table knee. The knee looks kind of weird. I'm gonna get a little wider. Table knee. Mm. I want to try to pick some things from the new vocabulary. Mm. Oh, there isn't really that much. Let's let's say hon. Let's say book. Hon. Which is book. Ga. Uh, arimasu. So here's using arimasu. So it's basically the same grammar point, but you add place ni, and so you're specifying the location instead of just like saying this thing exists or that you own it. Like this is a this is good for especially saying if you own something. Um, at least for the inanimate one. And this is good for saying like, oh, something's in a location usually for like people, for inanimate ones. I mean for animate, for living ones, for living beings, yeah. For people or animals, stuff like that. All right. There is another way to write this. So another grammar form, which Essentially, I'm, I'm pretty sure it means around the same thing. You're trying to figure out what times to do for my streams and what to play. Mm, I suggest, I mean, what's worked for me is setting a schedule and then deciding what I want to play like every week. That's what works for me. N. So N is a noun. N wa. N place. Ni. Adi mas. The dot is kind of like, oh, it's arimas or it's imas. I should have explained it earlier before I just started using it. But hopefully the examples make it clear enough what that dot means. I keep pushing my tablet around. <laughs> it's too slidey on my mouse pad. I bought this giant mouse pad and it's awesome. I know days is just times and what I want to do. I know so many options. And then as you do it more, you start running out, right? That's the scary part. You start running out. Oh man, and then you gotta come up with new stuff to do. <laughs> it's rough. Okay, so these essentially, these mean the same thing. Almost. I have to say almost because they're not exactly the same. So when you're writing it like this, you're saying what I was saying earlier. Oh, there's a cat in the room. But when you make it the subject let's use the cat again when you say neko wa you're bringing attention to the cat so if if someone's like it's hard to explain a little bit but essentially it's like instead of saying oh it's like oh there's a there's a cat in the room or there's a dog in the room. Maybe someone was like, oh, where's the cat? And then you're like, oh, the cat is in that room. Or maybe something like there's a cat in that room, like giving new information. So this can be like, this is like cat is main subject or focus in this sentence. So in this case, you're really like, you're kind of emphasizing the cat almost. You're like, there's a cat in the room. Or, oh, that cat is in the room. <laughs> it's it's a little bit of a nuance, but essentially if someone asks you, like, where, if you're, like, want to be like, it's the cat, the cat, pay attention to the cat, then you want to use it this way. If you're just saying, like, oh, in that room there's a dog, oh, there's a cat in the room, then it's just, like, there's not as much emphasis on the object. You're just kind of saying it. But this one's, like... Oh, the cat is now more important. It's hard to explain, but at least that's how I understand it. 
So Neko, uh, let's say they're in our box this time. I've used it enough. The cat is in the box. You can, you can even use it as like surprise. We can go back and use Yo. Neko wa haku ni arimasu yo. Look, the cat's in the box. Look at that. So cute. Kawaii desu ne. Oh. <laughs> I have, maybe I'm projecting too much on this sentence. <laughs> All right, same thing for... Oh, I put arimasu instead of imas. My bad. I was thinking about the box too much. It should be imas. Ni i mas. All right. The cat is in the box. And then for... Mm, what? What's another one? How about... I'm trying to think of more locations. I'm trying to think of more locations and things to put um, in that location. How about a cabin? Cabin, this means a vase. Cabin wa. Mm. Oh no, an ant! Cabin wa. Tana. This means bookshelf. Bookshelf? Or just shelf, not really bookshelf, just shelf. Kabin wa tana ni arimas. The vase is on the shelf. Where's the vase? The vase is on the shelf. Kabin wa tana ni arimas. All right. So hopefully I was able to get the difference between the wa and the the niga one. Mm, I think if you look at more example sentences, it should become more clear. But there should be more grammar structures where it's like wa is putting a little bit more emphasis on the subject. All right, to the next page, lesson 10. What do we have next? Going back to using some more no. N. No. Mm, excuse me. N. No. And then a position. What the heck does this mean? <laughs> so this is N, so the noun's position. Noun's position. Mm. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to crack open the book. I'm pretty sure it's like the... Like, sukue no ue. Like, on the desk. Sukue is desk. Ue means on top of. But are like, up. But let me double check. I don't want to leave y'all wrong. Let's see. Mm, I am. Let's see. I don't think there's any examples in the book. It doesn't look like it. So... Oh, oh, oh. Ah, oh, okay, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. I see. So there, it's not only, like, position. Uh, it is position, but there's kind of a few different ways you can use this. It's a bit... It's pretty in-depth. And it goes very well with, like, some vocabulary. It is kind of what I was thinking of. So, if you want to say, like, something's on top of the desk, then you say, 
Sukue. No. Ue. So this is like on top. And this is desk. And but there's <laughs> there's a lot of different positions, right? You can you can think of a lot of positions, like next to, on top of, below, to the right of, to the left of. So you need to learn all that vocabulary. I, I'll, I can list some of them out with just examples, but you can say in a full sentence, su super. Supawa, so this is supermarket. Supawa. Oh wait, um, let me let me do it with the no instead. I'm gonna actually change it so that it's it's closer to like this at the beginning. Supa no. Tonari. This means next to. Tonari ni. Mm, what should be next to it? Bioin. Bioin. This is. Oh, it's like hair salon. <laughs> like where you get haircuts, right? A uh, bioin. Ga. Arimas. So we saw the sentence structure earlier, right? So bioin ga arimas. There is a hair salon. And then you could say, oh, super no tonari. Next to the supermarket, there's a hair salon. Sounds kind of gross because I wouldn't want hair in my food, especially if I buy it at the supermarket. But maybe it'll help you remember. Mm, there's also... What's another good one? Let's use one with imas. Mm. Let's say... We have... Tanaka-san? Tanaka-san no and he so Tanaka-san's just like a name Hidari this is left Hidari ni mm. Sato-san another Japanese name ga uh, it's kind of it's kind of going off the screen. Imas, okay. Uh, let me try to make it smaller. Ga. I. Mas. Yes, it fit. <laughs> so, Sato san ga imas. So, Sato san is somewhere. Where is she? Tanaka san no hidari ni. Next to the left of Tanaka san. So, if you're standing in the line, there's Tanaka-san, and then to the left, and it's my left. To the left is Sato-san. Migi is to the right. So you could say, Tanaka-san no Migi ni Sato-san ga arimasu. So she moved to the right. There's also Ue, which is on top. Um, Shita, which is below. I'm sure there's other words. Naka. Uh, I think I mentioned it earlier. I didn't mention it earlier, but if you wanted to write like... I, I've said it in English, but hako no naka ni Oh, car, please. Silence. Neko gaimasu. So in the box, there's a cat. 
which is one of the cutest things ever. And that's why I used it for every single example. All right, what do we have next? Mm, all right, a, a little different. So this is using ya and nado. And it's a little hard to explain it in English, but this is you use ya to connect nouns. So it's mm, it's a, it's hard to explain. It's connect nouns and then let me see if I can find an example of this that would be good. Hmm. Usually I write these out so that there's always examples, but I don't know why sometimes they're not in the book. It makes it harder. I'm on the right one, right? I'm on 10. Yeah, I'm on 10. Okay. One way that you can use Nina, I didn't find an example, I just thought of one. <laughs> but if someone asks you something like, oh, what did you do today? What did you do today? Then you could say something like, oh, um, I went. Mm, I, I want to say like. <clears throat> this one is 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 stumping me. This one's stumping me a little bit. So. You could say something like... Taemono, which is shopping. Kaimono ya... Kara... No line, no line. Kara... Okay... So this is like, I did things like shopping and karaoke, so it applies like you had a fun day out. Oh, I spelled nouns wrong. I wrote it with a W. There's something wrong with my brain today. Connect nouns. So I went, I went like shopping and I went karaoke and maybe you're just telling someone about your day but you don't want to like list every single thing you did in order. The ya is kind of like, oh, you did things like that. And then you can add in like nado here, just so they know like you're ending the list. I haven't seen it all the time. I just see it sometimes. But you could say like kaimono ya karaoke nado shimashita. Oh, I did things like shopping and karaoke, and it could be any things that you want to list. I wish I could find another example of it, but I feel like it's not going to show up too often on the, on the exam, because I really don't see many examples of it. Let me look one more time. Yeah. So basically connecting nouns, kind of listing things. Um, ya is like, this might be a good descriptor. So ya is like, and the like. Th so like I was saying, things like shopping and karaoke. Nado is like, and so on. <laughs> So they kind of they kind of mean the same thing. That's why you can when I first learned it in Genki, I just dropped Nado all the time. I never used it. But it's good to know like why it's there and why it's like connected with ya. <laughs> just for listing things. You can say like, oh, um I don't want to make it too complicated, because you can use this eventually when you're turning verbs into nouns which we haven't gone over yet that's when it's like most useful i think that's what i notice it mostly being 
used for, but that's for later. That's why I had such a hard time coming up with an example. Because I could make a million with further, further stuff, but not, not with this. One second, the music's a little loud, it's distracting me. But hopefully that's an, that should be enough understanding for N5. They're not gonna go crazy on that one, I don't think. All right. Then we'll have another use for Deska. Let me make this higher up. Deska. So this is used. Obviously, this is used to ask a question, right? This is what we went over earlier. But this time, you can also use it to confirm info. So I might write like a little conversation for this one. Let's say A is like A son or something is like Oh Kaigi Kaigi which is meeting Kaigi wa Itsu desu ka? When is the meeting? B and I'll make B even a different color. Let's let's make them green. Oh, green doesn't show up that well. I'm gonna make them a darker green. There we go. <laughs> darker green. Darker green. <laughs> B is like um Kuji Des. Ku. This is nine o'clock. Kuji Des. Then A would say. Kuji, oh, and I didn't write the G. Kuji Deska at nine o'clock. This is confirming that it's at nine o'clock. And then B would say something like, hi, yes, hi. Mr. Hypnoshroom, hello, hello. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. We're getting right to the end of lesson 10 right now. Going over Descot to confirm information. That's pretty... I think it's a pretty simple understanding for this one. Descot just being like, oh, someone gives you information, and then you're like, oh, just to confirm. Kuji Deska? Is it at nine? I haven't yet. No, I've been offline all day. Mm -hmm. I'll have to go check it out afterwards. We need to add more pages. Yes, let's save the page. I thought three would be enough, but we're just going through this, aren't we? It's not even seven. Holy crap. Oh, on Discord. Okay, I'll check it out. I'll check it out. After stream, though. After stream. Going through Japanese. I want to get N5 done. I want to go to N4 so I can learn more vocabulary. My vocabulary is so limited right now. Have you posted it on Twitter as well, or where all are you doing the face reveal? All right, next one is... Wa... Oops, the wa looks silly. Nani nani, so this is like something, like a noun or something. Wa arima sen ka and this is do you have nani nani do you have nani nani and I maybe I wrote this wrong shouldn't it be arimasuka Yeah, I don't know. Why did I write it Arimasenka? This should be Arimasuka. I guess a year ago I was just kind of stupid. No. <laughs> We've literally been using Arimas this whole time. I'm actually gonna have to change my notes. Arimasuka? 
so this is a natural progression of Adimas, right? Just like we were using Deska, Adimas ka. Mm, what would be a good one? And also Imas, right? I don't know why they didn't. I didn't. I say they didn't, but it was me who didn't write Imas ka. But it's like, oh, um. Oh, I think I remember actually. I remember why this was Arimasen. Sorry for flip flopping. Arimasen ka. So this is good for using when you want to borrow something. When you're asking of like to use something that someone else owns, then you want to use Arimasen ka to sound polite. It's a little rude if you just say arimasu ka. Like, oh, do you have it? Oh, do you have a car? Oh my god. Do you say arimasen ka? It's like, oh, do you have a car that you use? It's the tone a little bit. I remember now. I remember now. I don't want to lead y'all astray. At least that's my understanding of it. If you hear otherwise, they're definitely correct. And there is... Uh, there, there are more polite ways to ask for stuff but but this is like the most polite way we're gonna learn right now to ask to borrow things because there are words for borrow and we'll see how we can ask to borrow stuff using like the verb to borrow but right now we can use adi maska and They'll understand, especially if you are foreign, i.e. not Japanese. If you aren't always 100% correct on your grammar, but for testing purposes, when you're asking for something, use it, you can use this. You can use this format to sound more polite than just using arimasu ka. So, en pizza wa arimasen ka? You have a pencil implying that you want to borrow the pencil. And that is the end. I Now I understand why I didn't use imas. Because you don't ask to borrow a living object. I can't imagine someone saying like, Oh, hey, can I borrow your brother? Like, in this way. It's more like... There are different verbs for that. It doesn't exactly translate over to English correctly. It would be kind of awkward to say that. Oh, right. I guess we'll do a new page, even though that was the last one. Add a page for... Lesson 11! Oh my goodness. Lesson 11. Let me write it at the top, just to make it clear. Lesson 11. You cannot steal what is legally your property. <laughs> oh, someone's been watching The Office. How are you doing, Arya Nali? I hope you're doing well. I just noticed it's of sky and not of the sky. Was there like a character limit or did you just decide to omit the the for stylistic reasons let's see oh lesson 11 has some counting the is stupid <laughs> honestly agree i agree uh japanese has mostly uh, done away with the in their sentence structure you can just be like subject um so the is overrated for sure <laughs> So, you need to learn your counting. There are different ways to count different objects. The first one we're going to learn is just counting. This is kind of the standard object counting. If you don't know how to count an object using like their specific way, in Japanese, this is probably like your best bet to getting someone to understand you. Hitotsu futatsu. 
this is like one one object i'm gonna write obj two object three object oops i just wrote j that time three objects four objects five objects six seven eight it goes on and on but we'll focus on these three right now we can look at the other ones later hey o'brien hello how are you doing i hope you're doing well we're just going through some lesson 11 japanese right now to do some example sentences so this is like counter mm, this would be this would be like the general counter i'm gonna call it the general counter mm, so if someone asks you what's a what's a good one Let's think of a new word. Okay, how about Ringo? Ringo means apple. Apple. Ringo. Fu. Tatsu. And then we know how to say how we have an object. Ga arimas. And of course, you can be like, like we learned earlier, hako ni ringo futatsu ga arimas. So this is two apples. You can also like switch them around. It, it's just however it's gonna flow in the sentence. You can switch them. You don't have to switch them. But I like it better when it's like. I just think it sounds better when it's the sub kind of like what you're talking about and then the number rather than like number and then the subject but you can say it either way either way is fine according to my sensei that i learned it from ringo fukutatsu ga arimasu ringo hitotsu ga arimasu one apple this is like general counters like that um pretty pretty much people will understand you we can go through the other counters as well that's actually the next point so some more counters we have nin which is for is the counter for people there are some exceptions and so i'll go over them there is when you want to say one person you say hitori when you want two people you say futari these are the exceptions for counting people one and two. And then it starts going three, which is sanin, four, yonin, five, gonin, etc., etc. Rokunin, nananin. I'm not going to write all of them out. You can look them up. But nin is the counter for people, exception being hitori and futari, which is one person and two person. Mm. And you use them kind of just the same way as you use the example before. You can say something like... I'll use hitori and I'll use another one with the other ones. So you could say like... Hitori de, which is by yourself. Hitori de. Then kyo. Shimashita, which is studied. Ben kyo is to study. Hitori de ben kyo shimashita. So I studied alone. But we're not studying alone, are we? We're studying together. It's more fun to study with friends, I think. <laughs> Our fellow classmates takes time to become friends and then we can what's another example we could say like oh kyo shitsu ni so in the classroom san nin ga imasu so this would be 
There are three people in the classroom. Kyoshitsu's classroom. Kyoshitsu. I believe, right? Oh my gosh, I hope I'm not getting that wrong. In my brain, I'm like, Kyoshitsu's classroom. Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> and for a second, I was like, wait, is it not classroom? But it is, it is, it is. Okay. Kyoshitsu ni san nin ga imasu. There are three people in the classroom. So that's the counter for people. Nin, with two exceptions. Another counter is dai. Dai, which is... This is counter for mechanical objects. So things like computers, cars, any other kind of machinery, like keyboards, stuff like that. I assume keyboards. I don't think keyboards count as... Counter people. I don't think keyboards would count as like a flat object and using a different one. So... Let's say like laptop. Pa... So Kong mm. Let's see how many computers should we have? Let's say we have five or how many laptops we have. Go die. Ga Arimas. It's like those crazy math problems where they have just way too much of something. Like, who needs five laptops? <laughs> Why do you have five laptops? <laughs> Pasokan Goldai Goldai ga arimas. I have five laptops. <laughs> and it's similar to the way that Nin works, where it'd be like Sandai, Yondai, Rokudai, Nanadai. Hachidai. Kyudai. I think it's Kyudai, not Kudai. Definitely, like, look up all the counters, like how to count with each counter. And once you learn them, then you can come back here and be like, okay, this is how you use them. Next counter and final one for... I, this might be the final N5 one. The next one might be an N4. And it might, yeah, the next one might be an M4, but we'll see. So the next one is my, which is counter for flat objects. So this can be like paper. Uh, yeah, anything paper, business cards. Mm, what else? Flat objects. Um, there's... Mm, Gouda, stuff like that. <laughs> Gouda, Ina, you would use them. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Because <laughs> they're flat objects. No, no, no. Squector, hello. Interesting. Oh, I'm glad you think so. I'm glad you think so. My friends told me to value my Ada Adas more. It's not flat, it's hydrodynamic. <laughs> You're right, you're right. <laughs> oh, man. So, we can use the- let's use... Mm, let's use a new word. Alright, we can use paper. Let's use paper. I feel like we haven't used it. So, paper is kami. Kami... Mm. Have we used ni yet? We did use butatsu. Let's use ni mai. Kami ni mai. Ni mai. Ga. Arimas. Kami ni mai ga arimas. I have two papers. Uh, I don't know why you I need to say you have two papers, but. You have two. If someone's like, hey, hey can I borrow some paper? You could be like, yeah, I have two papers. Here, have one. I just said it for free again! Oh, damn it! <laughs> oh, you tricked me. You tricked me. God damn it. <laughs> I can't believe I've been tricked again. Or for the first time. 
<laughs> you're happy, good. <laughs> At least you're happy. <laughs> That's good. That's good. <laughs> All right, what do we have next? Oh, it's kind of using the counters more. A another way to use the counters. Uh, the quantify quantifier is the counter, right? Man, I wrote it so messily. All right, let's let's do this on a new page. I think we can finish up this one in a new page. Boop. Yay! I have a bad habit, and I've seen other VTubers have it as well, where they'll just read out whatever chat is saying without thinking about whether they should say that. <laughs> and that's how I can easily be tricked. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? Now we have N, which is a noun. N, Ga, or you can use O as well. N O quantifier. What the hell did I riot? This is the most confusing shit I've ever seen. I want to punch me from a year ago who made this stupid review sheet. What are you talking about, you crazy? Wa, what I only see wa. Oh, I see what I'm talking about. Okay. Quantifier. And then verb. I wrote it so confusingly. I wrote quantifier twice for some reason. And this means. Oh god, I'm not even gonna write what this means in English. You're just gonna have to see it in Japanese. It makes way more sense, I promise. <laughs> so, you could say... Mm, let's use another verb. Suika. Suika means watermelon. I think I follow a VTuber called Suika, which also means watermelon. Suika. Gar o. Ga, ga is kind of like suika is obviously the subject of the sentence, but I'll use one where with o. I'll use it with ga for right now. Suika ga. Hmm. Let's say. Let's use a higher number. Nanatsu. Nanatsu. Kaimashita. Kaimashita. So, watermelon, seven, bought. I bought seven watermelons. <laughs> so, kaimashita, this is past turn, past turn, <laughs> past tense of to buy. So, this is bought. And this is seven. And this is watermelon, so using the structure, you could say, oh, I bought seven watermelons. Mm, you can use it, you can use God differently. You could say like, Chichi ga, maybe like you're adding, you're saying, okay, this is the new subject. In this case, the watermelon is a subject. Now, Chichi, which is would be my dad or like your dad, Chichi ga suika o hitotsu tabemashita. <gasps> My dad ate one watermelon. <laughs> He ate a whole watermelon. <laughs> so basically, like with the ga versus the o, it's just the subject changing. You could make this wa as well. This could be ga or or wa. 
to make your dad the subject as well. Um, but here's you can use Ga to make it the subject here. You can use Ga or Wa alternatively, but then this is like the object being talked about. What a man. I know, right? It's an absolute Chad move to just eat one whole watermelon on your own. <laughs> He's doing great things. He's doing great things. <laughs> All right, and then the counting works the same way. This is just how to use it. Mm. Okay, next one is some more like interrogative words, so like question words, but this time we're going to talk about time periods again. Going back to time. So we have ikutsu. I guess this isn't an interrogative one, but this will this will work with the quantifiers. This is how many. So like ikutsu ringo ga arimasu ka? Oh my hair! <laughs> it's short. Ikutsu ikutsu ringo o kaimashita ka? How many apples did you buy? You'd be like, oh, um, well, it would be like Sanko. It'd be a different one we didn't learn. Let's say Ikutsu Kabano Kaimashita. How many bags did you buy? Then you could say, oh, Futatsu Kabano o Kaimashita. I bought two bags, two new purses or something. Ikutsu is how many? And then we have. Another way, this is questions for interrogative words. So this would, this also means how many, but this is like, this is used not with hitotsu, so this would be like nanin, like how many people. Non my how many flat objects non die so the ones we just learned this is like how many just generic objects this is how many with the with the counters with endings like that and the last one is this one's the time based one this is dono gurai and this is like it means kind of like approximately how long. Approximately how long. Oh my gosh. Okay. Stuff's being redeemed. Let me do an airplane noise. <laughs> You're flying on an airplane. Mm, you can be like... Oh, dono gurai. Dono gurai how long let's see kurasu wa dono gurai desu ka like how long is your class posture check okay let me okay i'm sitting up i promise i'm sitting up it's hard not to sit up with like a book i have the book on my lap i have the review sheet i have my tablet <laughs> and then i uh, kiss um <laughs> How many channel points does everyone have? <laughs> 4.9k? Oh my goodness. Hugo, thank you for watching me for so long. <laughs> That's a lot. That's really a lot. Dono gurai mimashita ka? How long have you been watching? <laughs> That's another way to use dono gurai. Mm, okay, so those are, those are pretty self-explanatory, I think. You use them the same as other interrog uh, yeah other interrogative ones just these are specific to counters and length of time then we have with a time period let's see so if you're given a time period say two weeks one month one day three days stuff like that time period ni 
Oh, the knee looks weird. Have I started writing bigger? I feel like I was writing smaller earlier. Weird knee. Nani nani kai. So kai is like how many times? Times. This is another counter one. Nani nani ni. And me nani nani kai. Verb. Didn't some kind of verb. You have to be doing something. So this is like how often, like how often do you do verb? How often? As for my channel points, creators get, uh, or the owner of the channel gets infinity. So if the channel points ever mess up, I'm able to fix it, which is good. <laughs> so how often? So if someone asks like, oh. Hmm. Nan Kai Nan Kai Hata I, I won't make it a different color actually. Nan Kai, so this is like how many this is like we saw it earlier. It's like we're using the Kai counter, so we attach it to the non. So this is Nan Kai Hata Ta mm, okay, that doesn't make any sense. The shukani. So this means. So ishu is like one week. Ishu. This is one week. Ishukan. So this is like in one week. Nankai. Let me move this up. Make it smaller. It should still be readable, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. How often? Nankai. Oops. Ha. Ta la ki maska. So within one week, how often? Like it's like how many times? How often do you work? So this is to work, and then you can respond. Um, Ishukani. You could probably even like leave off the Ishukani, but Ishukani. Uh, gokai. So like five days a week. That's uh, that's probably the most standard one, but it can be three days, six days, seven days. Ataraki ma. Streamers be on the grind, so they might work uh, every day. Nanakai. <laughs> They're on the grind, and <laughs> and then other than weeks, you could say like ichi gatsu. Let's do a month one. We haven't looked at months too much. Ichi gatsu ni. Oops, that's an eraser. Ichi gatsu ni. Nankai, this is non kanji. Nankai. And then we'll just write the whole thing. No, we don't wanna I don't wanna confuse it. Ega. This is movie. Ega. Oh. Mi maska. This is in one month. How many times do you go see a movie? Then you can say Ichigatsuni. 
How often? I feel like I barely see them. <laughs> so we'll say Nikai. Nikai. Ega. Oh. Me mas. Ega o mas. Ichigatsu ni in one month. Nikai, two times. Ega o mas. I watch a movie. You haven't gone to the movies since 2018. Wow, that's a long time. So it wasn't even COVID. It's just you're not into the movie theater, huh? So if you wanted to respond to something like, oh, I don't see the movies that often, you could say, like, um... Ah... Uh, like, if someone asks you, like, oh, like, how often in the months in... So if they ask you, Ichigatsu ni... Ichigatsu ni... Nankai ega o mimasu Like, how many times per month do you go to the movies? And if you're like, oh, I don't really go to the movies, you could say... Amari, which is like rarely. Amari. Ega o. I'll write this in blue as well. Mimasen. So this is like, I rarely go to the movies. Which I would say is true in your case. <laughs> I, really, I mostly, I go to the movies maybe like three times a year, probably, if even that. Not a big movie person or movie theater person because they're too long to sit in a the theater, aren't they? I don't want to watch a three hour movie and have to sit there for three hours without being able to just like pause it and get up. I'm sure... I'm trying to think of the longest movie I've ever saw seen. It might be... Les Mis? <laughs> that one's around three hours. And luckily I didn't watch it in theaters. Oh, Hydrate. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I can make that a big Hydrate. I haven't been drinking water all day. I shouldn't say that. I forgot to drink water. I forgore. I forgore. <laughs> but I've been drinking it since like dinner time. It's okay. <laughs> Someone hydrate her more? No. <laughs> no, I've been watered. It's okay. All right, last one of lesson 11 is Nani Nani. Dake. Nani nani dake. And this means only. So this can be like with a quantifier. Only, like only one. Or it can just be like with a noun. So like noun only. So. You could be like going back to the box, maybe. Hako no nakani in the box. Nan kai, how many? Mm. How many? Let's add in a new word. Hagaki. Postcard. This is postcard. Nankai hagaki ga arimasuka. In the box, how many postcards are there? Then someone could be like, oh, um, oh, I wrote nankai. It should be nanmai. My bad. Nanmai. 
Mai is the flat one, so hag Hagagi it's flat. I think it's because I didn't I didn't think out the sentence beforehand. So it should be nan mai. Nan mai hagaki ga arimasu ka? Then you can say Ichi mai dake. Arimasu. There is only one. Ichi mai dake arimasu. Or is, okay, I'm, I'm making it too casual. Let me let me put the ga. Ichi mai dake. Oh wait, no, no, it replaces the ga. So it replaces the ga. I had it right. Ichi mai dake arimasu. So there's only one in the box, and I could be like, oh shoot, really? Uh, where did all the other ones go? <laughs> And then this, that's the first one. Then for the second one, the N only. Mm. Mm. You could say Uchi ni. So this is in the house. Dare ga. Arimasuka? So if someone's like, oh, who's at your house right now for some reason? <laughs> I don't know, maybe you're talking about all the stuff your family had to do today. And then someone's like, oh, is anyone in your house? Uchi ni dare ga arimasu ka? Then you could say... Mm, Chan One Chan Oh, it shouldn't be Arimas, it should be Imas. This is why we review, this is why we study. You have to be able to catch yourself. Can't can't dwell too long on the mistakes. Just see it and, and fix it. One chan dake. Oh, I almost wrote I again, Imas. I'm gonna have to like drill it into my brain before I go to the test. Like <laughs> Imas and Arimas. I know it. I know it, but when I write it, it just gets all mixed up. It just should be easier. So this is Onechan Dake Imas. So only Onechan's in the house. Which is a sh shame. Because what's gonna happen if she gets stuck in the washing machine? She's the only one there. There's no one to get her out. <laughs> All right, so that's the end of lesson 11. Yay! Yay! Where are we at? Oh, we have about 35 minutes left. We should be able to get through... Oh, 12 is kind of long. I'm not going to say we should be able to get through it, but... We might be able to get through it. Maybe. Maybe. There we go. Lesson 12. Maybe just the descriptions are long. Maybe it's not that complicated. We'll have to see. Lesson 12. Mm. Okay, it doesn't seem... I don't know. It's kind of long. Nani nani deshita. And... Nani nani ja adi ma adi ma sendeshta. So this is past tense. They both mean past tense. But this is past tense of Deshta, deshta. Pass. This is past tense. Positive? So maybe I should write this a little easier, a little differently. Oops. Dude, this is so much better than writing in my notes. Because I can just like move stuff around like this. This is awesome. The step bro service is always available. <laughs> 
<sighs> oh my goodness. <laughs> step we have to send the step bro service on HN's home alone and she's doing laundry. We have to send someone to help. It's just your sister. I can't believe it. So this side will always be positive. And this side will be negative. Negative. And let's see, can I make this a little better? Oh, I hate you, Lesson 12. Making me do this. Mm. I'm gonna move these to the edge. I'm gonna move this around. I promise it's gonna look all pretty and almost chart-like, I promise. And this is... Past tense for nouns and e adjectives. So like, kawaii, takai, oki, uh, yeah, stuff like that. E adjectives and nouns. We all know what nouns are, right? And let me kind of fix it, move this down a little bit. All right, that looks pretty good. Then would it look good with a line? Wait a minute. Why am I relying on freehand? Oh my god, this is freaking wonderful. As someone who hand wrote notes for like years, this is freaking beautiful. Oh, look at this freaking chart. I'm living the life. I'm living the dream. It's so beautiful. <laughs> I've never had my notes look this pretty. I know there's people who make like really pretty notes. I have not the type to do that, but <laughs> it looks kind of pretty to me. <laughs> Prettier than what I have written on my page. Okay. Oh, okay. I got this wrong. This is not for the E adjective. This is for the not adjective. Not adjective like um kisetsu, kisetsu, which is kind, right? Kisetsu? No. What? Setsu na setsu. What? My brain is is breaking. How do you say kind in Japanese? Shinsetsu. Shinsetsu. Shinsetsu na hito, something like that. Shinsetsu, um, kire, which is beautiful. Um, warui, which is like bad. <laughs> so this is past tense for noun and not adjectives. Then the next one is going to be past tense of e adjectives. And that will be nani nani kata des for positive. So kawi kata. It was like so like if you went to the zoo and someone was like panda wa do deska. Like how are the pandas? Like maybe there was like a panda exhibit or something. And then they're like, oh, kawaii katta desu. They were, they were cute. They were very cute. Pandas are always cute, right? Of course they are. The other ones like noun and not adjective, you just add it to the end. So, what's a good example? Hmm. Like, how was... Uh, same question. How was the zoo? Dobutsu wa do desu ka? How was the zoo? Someone can be like, Oh, shizuka... Shizuka janakata desu ka? 
Ja arimasen deshita. Sorry, I did the, the casual version. Ja arimasen deshita. It was not quiet. It was loud. <laughs> oh, ads. Oh, no. Unfortunate. Gives me some chance to write stuff out, though. Mm hmm. Let's see. And for negative, kunakata. So, if some reason the pandas weren't cute, kawaii kunakata. This. Kawaii kunakata des. They were not cute. Not cute at all. How was the... Uh, what's something that's not cute? Spiders? I don't know what spiders are in Japanese. I'm not going to search it up. Ooh, I can't think of any uncute animals that I also know the words for in Japanese. Um, what's another one? Oh. Restaurant wa do deshita ka? How was the restaurant? You could be like, oh... Takakunakata des. Takakunakata. It was not expensive. It was good. It was not too expensive. Yeah, that's just saying it's not expensive. You can say it's not too expensive. There's like another grammar for that. But we're not going to get into that. Alright, so that's past tense. Just like how we do some earlier. Alright, it's a little bit at an angle, at an angle, but that's fine, right? That's fine. Um, next we have. Is that the only ones? Yeah, those are the only ones. I got too excited. I shouldn't have made this line so long. Why did I do that? Do 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 do. Tadaima, welcome back. Okaidi. All right, little chart here. I guess that gives me a chance to write some examples spider in japanese is rasen shuriken i highly doubt that <laughs> oh imagine it was though mm. all right i'm just gonna skip the example sentences because they're kind of annoying no 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 i won't i won't i'll be good i'll be good i'll be good um what's one i can use with a verb though i wasn't thinking of one Oh, okay, this is a good one. Believe it, Date Bio. <laughs> Believe it. All right. Let me see. So, Ra Sen Shu. Re can <laughs> which means spider wa ka wa e and so usually kawaii has two eyes but You'd add, instead of the second I, you'd add a K, and then write kata. Watashi wa hokage. <laughs> You're a hokage. <laughs> so, Rashen Shuriken wa kawaii kunakata des. The spiders were not cute. Naruto. <laughs> what is actually spider in Japanese? Please don't show me. Kumo, kumo, kumo. I knew it, I knew it. Okay, not raw centurion. Mm -mm. It's raw centurion is not cute. Ah, <laughs> uh, Kumo. Oh, please don't show me a picture. I just need to see how it's written. Okay, it's written in katakana. Kumo. Is spider. <laughs> Kumo wa kawaii kunakata desu. The spider was not cute. The rasen shuriken was not cute. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, let's see another example. Let's let's use a, an animal that is cute. 
like panda which i was using earlier panda wa kawaii don't write the second e and replace it with kata desu the panda was cute <laughs> And then, let's see, positive. Yes, I thought of one for the noun, and by thought of one, I looked in the book, and I'm gonna steal that example, because it's pretty good. Kino wa, so yesterday. Ame. Ame. Which is rain. Deshita. Yesterday it rained. Kinoa ame deshita. Yesterday it was rain. Capybara, that is cute. Panda is Chidori. Panda is not Chidori. I at least know what panda is. <laughs> All right, and then for let's do a na adjective. So it can be like. Shizuka, which means quiet. Shizuka. And you don't put the na at the end. Shizuka ja. Instead of the na, you put the ja. Ja. Arimasen. Deshita. Shizuka janimasen deshita. It was not quiet, so maybe <laughs> first time going to a concert. Concert wa dou deshita ka? Shizuka janimasen deshita. It was not quiet. It was loud. It was loud. <laughs> All right, what do we have next? Okay, it looks like we're not going to get to less than 12, but that's okay. We're getting far. We've made good progress. N1. So noun 1. Wa. And this would be like compared to. N2. New grammar point is yori. And then let's let's use another color. Let's let's bring in a green. This is adjective this we're using triple colors you know you know it's getting complicated in the grammar once you start using three colors instead of just two i mean i guess black's a color but <laughs> but we're not counting it so three new colors so this means n1 is more or yeah um yes she can explain it this way i think this is fine n1 is more adjective than or compared to n2 So you could say mm, what's a good one? Mm, let's do the European countries. I feel like I have no attachment to them, so it doesn't matter what I write about them. Okay. Fu Furansu wa i gi risu yori Chisai des. So this is saying. Wait. 
I mixed it up, I mixed it up. Okay. So this is saying France is bigger than England. Land size, right? Oh, my hair's back to long again. <laughs> my shoulders aren't cold anymore. All right. Furansua, so France, and this is like England is less than, so Yori is kind of like less than, so Iguru, 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 England is less big than France. How did you have Nya? Nya! <laughs> oh God. That was almost worse than Ada Ada. <laughs> Did you enjoy your nya? I hope you enjoyed it. Eventually I'll have cat ears, I promise. France is 2.8 times bigger. Oh wow, okay. France is bigger. Well, then that's a good example sentence then. Yes, it was cute worth every penny. <laughs> oh, I'm glad. I'm glad it was worth, <laughs> worth every penny. <laughs> All right, I think that's all the example we need, right? Yeah, cause we'll kind of use it again later. Oh, 2.3 times bigger, okay. Still a lot bigger, a lot bigger than England. Very true. All right, I think I'll do a new page. We're kind of at the bottom of this one. And since it's not, this is not using uh, real paper. It doesn't matter how many I use. As long as I have computer space, right? Be fine. I have old. I have old videos I could delete. I just haven't deleted them yet. Next is in in similar fashion. N one. To, which means it's like and. We saw this earlier. And. N1 to N2 to. This is like between N1 and N2. New grammar, kind of. Dochira, which is which. Dochira. Dochira ga. Adjective Deska. So this is like which is so this is like which is between the two of them. Which is more adjective N one or N two? Omochiroi wa hokagi yori suyoku desu. Correct. Omai wa mo shindeiru. So, yeah, you could say like. I, I don't know how to write their names, but. Orochimaru to. I don't. I don't know how to say the third hokage. So I'm just going to write Hokage. <laughs> Hokage. To. San daime. To. Okay, thank you, thank you. Orochimaru to. San daime to do chi da ga and then to be strong is suyoi. This is strong. 
Zoyoit. This. Grab the ka over here. This ka. Zoyoit this ka. And I think we all know the answer to that, but I'm not going to spoil it. <laughs> but then you just say, like, N. And this would be, like, the answer. And then you just say, like, oh, um, and this. <laughs> you could say whoever, but yeah, just end this, like whoever, whoever your opinion is. And let's go to the next one then. Let's see. So next one is also similar. N1. Alright, we could just say N. N no no hoga N no hoga adjective Actually I'll erase this for now. This is actually like a better response. So, if we're using the last sentence, then you can say Orochimadu no hoga suyoi desu. So this is like, N is more adjective or is better, something like that. Endesu, 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 totsugeki rock, what? Alice, I gotta go, I gotta get ready to do collab stream. All oh, with the individual you did a cover with. All right. Well, have fun on your stream. Good luck. Thank you for joining me and talking. It makes me very happy. <laughs> and I hope you have a good rest of your night. Love you too. Bye bye. Let's see. We'll be closing up soon too. So, Orochimaru no Hoga Suyoide. So, this is like when someone asks you that question, this is how you'll respond with no ho. You can also kind of add it in here. I'll just add this as an extra. Oops. Um, can you go back to the previous page? Thank you. So when you're writing like this, Furansu wa igirisu yori oki desu, you could write Furansu no ho ga igirisu yori oki desu. And that would be a perfectly legitimate sentence. All your Japanese knowledge is from Naruto.debio. Really? Mm. I feel like Naruto would be hard to learn Japanese from because they just throw random shit as like attack moves, right? Are there jutsus? I feel like it'd be hard to learn from. You could pick up some things though, I'm sure. Well, I'm sure you did, but... <laughs> Man, I feel like out of all the animes, that one would be kind of rough. Mm, okay, so this is similar to N1 to, the, to this one, which is more adjective, but this is for only two objects. The next one we'll be talking about more, like three or more, more than two objects. So this next one is N. N no naka N no naka de mm, Maybe I should write these in black Oops N no naka de So this is like within The, the nouns and no nakade and then a comma we haven't seen many commas yet have we 
like mm, you could write kind of any question word so this can be nani doko nani is like what or doko is where or dare or itsu like when's the best time and no nakade one of those ga ichiban ichiban is like the best or like number one i'll put like number one slash the best I'll write it below. Number one slash the best. Oh, Arya, thank you for the follow. Wow, I missed it. It was like an hour ago. Holy crap. <laughs> Sorry about that. I had I had my my programs overlapping. Nihon la ichiban. <laughs> Ichiban adjective des. I can I can do that. Mm, yeah, adjective des. Okay, let me see. So, if we want to say Japanese is the best. We have to construct a sentence that would make that the answer, right? So I just had to Google it right now. Language is Gengo. Gengo, this is language. Language. Language no. Naka. De. So within all the languages, Nani Ga Ichiban mm. Let's do Tanashi. Ichiban Tanashi. Deska. And then using the grammar we learned before, we can say Nihongo. Oops. Nihongo. No. Ga. Mm. No, we wouldn't use that. We would just say Ichiban. I mean, Nihongo ga Ichiban. Tano. Nihongo ga ichiban tanoshi. Which is the Japanese language. So the Japanese language is the most fun. I think it's the most fun of the ones I've learned. I've only learned some French. <laughs> I did not have fun, but it probably was more the teacher than the language. But for the purpose of learning the grammar, we'll just say Japanese is the most fun out of all the languages. It's fun making Naruto references. All right, let's see. That was right at the end of lesson 12, I think. We'll stop here. This is a good stopping point. We'll get started on 13 next time. We're almost halfway. I can't believe it. There are 25 lessons and we're about to start 13. So we're just about halfway done. That's amazing. <laughs> Thank you for every everyone for joining. 
Uh, it was a lot of fun and uh, giving suggestions and stuff. You only know Spanish and English? That's impressive. That's impressive. I wish I knew Spanish as well. I think that would be awesome. Seriously, like anyone who knows multiple languages, I have mass respect for. Let's see, who do we have that is streaming right now? Oh, let's do Natsutori. I think they're almost at affiliate. Let's go check them out. I haven't been able to catch their streams yet. All right, ready to go? Thank you everyone again for joining and for the new follows. Oh, you'll be at a con next weekend? That's okay. That's okay. I will see you when you get back. I hope you have fun. Good night, everyone. Good night. Bye-bye.